snuff out those cigarettes in just eight weeks. A statewide smoking ban takes effect in Illinois. And that means no more smoking in bars, restaurants, and workplaces. WGEM's Leslie Swick takes another look at this hotly debated issue to find out if we're truly going to be smoke-free. Monday nights at the Tangerine Bowl are about to change. Starting January 1st, these bowlers are going to have to aim for a strike without striking up a cigarette. The statewide ban will snuff out smoking in every public place, including bowling alleys. Ed Ruckers is a smoker. He bowls every week, but the ban might change his habits. I'll probably bowl out this year, and next year I might think about it not bowling next year. That's exactly why business owners are concerned about the new law. Bottom line, they fear they're going to lose customers who can't smoke in their establishment. Smoking opponents argue it's a health issue, not a business issue. They say the law is designed to protect people from secondhand smoke. According to the American Cancer Society, secondhand smoke contributes to 2,900 deaths in Illinois every year. That's about eight a day. They also found working eight hours in a smoky bar or restaurant is the same as smoking 16 cigarettes. But even non-smokers say the ban isn't fair. If I don't want to be around smoke, I won't come here. Otherwise, the people who smoke will be allowed to smoke. Opponents also argue the state is overstepping its boundaries by telling businesses how to operate. It doesn't just affect smokers. It affects business owners. And I think that the government is getting involved too much in the personal lives. That should be the better choice. I hate to see anybody in Quincy go under because of the law. Smokers will be able to light up outside the bowling alley as long as they're at least 15 feet from any entrance or window. And if any business breaks the new law, it can be fined $250 for a first violation and up to $2,500 for each violation after that. And Leslie says your local health department will work with police to enforce the new law. How will that be done? Leslie will have that answer tomorrow on WGEM News at 6. And we'll talk with restaurant owners who've already gone smoke-free and find out if the ban will really be bad for business.